Hate it, uh, hey, hate it. <laughs> At its best, television reflects its audience back to it, airing difficult conversations going on around dinner tables. When the hell are you going to admit that the war was wrong? I ain't talking about that war. I don't want to talk about that goddamn war no more. Over a career that spanned decades, Norman Lear did just that. From war to America's lingering struggles with race, the legendary producer put it all on TV. Lionel! Martin Luther King helped accomplish a lot for our people. Oh, sure he tried, but what did he really accomplish? I mean, nothing's changed. Born in Connecticut before working in TV, Lear was a gunner on a bomber in the Second World War. Oh, you know what? By 1971, he'd found his calling, producing All in the Family for CBS. The show revolved around a working class family in New York. Edgy for its time, it took on contentious issues from homosexuality to abortion. That approach, a product of Lear's own upbringing. Well, I lived in a house that, where everybody didn't get along and everybody uh, had their own problems. Uh, across from neighbors, down the street from neighbors, up the street from other neighbors, uh, had problems that we were dealing with. We are the Jeffersons. Lear produced a spinoff to All in the Family focused on a prosperous black family. Over its 10-year run, the Jeffersons put America's racial divide in the spotlight. Good God, you're black. Over the next decade, Lear produced a string of hit TV shows from Good Times. Happy, bright, narrow man in. Pure dine, oh my! To one day at a time. Changing the face of American television along the way. Norman Lear has held up a mirror to American society and changed the way we look at it. While his work shifted the way Americans saw themselves, Lear hoped it would change television too. My hope for the future of television is that it will take itself as seriously as it is taken. Norman Lear was 101 years old. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.